the final team, Guillaume's team. Uh, it's Guillaume and Jennifer, and we had an interesting uh, participant, member of this team, our keynote speaker, uh, and who's uh, a bike advocate from Amsterdam. He was here and he was on this team, and he's a urban mobility expert, so he put input into this, but, but he had to leave early today. Did you forget his name again? <laughs> Mike from uh, Van Bode. So our idea is we want to improve uh, all the mobility. We want to improve the city for everyone. Um, we can't fix cycling by looking just at cycling. Because if you look just at cycling, um, it's, it's short-sighted. You have to look at all the means of transportation, all the means of getting around the city. How do I use this? Do I just hit? So the, the road space has been... Um, the computer. Over there, okay. It's been uh, distributed to make uh, car traffic easy. Um, which is the other value the next one? What? Sorry, yeah. So the value we have been optimizing the city for is car traffic. Driving around the city is easy. Um, and if it's not, well, we've made it the best we can. We want to ask um, the question about the values we optimize the city for. We want to optimize for other values that we have here and derive from these values um, the principles on which we plan our cities. We want to get rid of the values that have historically been uh, used, like um, maximizing throughput and uh, making traffic fluid and use these instead. Um, from these we derive, well, we adopt uh, principles that come from the Netherlands. We do it like the Dutch. Or we try to, yes. So, functionality of the road, every road should have one use and just one use. Um, you shouldn't mix usage of one road. It should be homogenous. Um, like we should have one type of users, the bit of road, you should not mix buses with bicycles, you shouldn't mix fast traffic with slow moving traffic, and you should um, avoid conflicts between these types of users. Uh, Thierry's presentation had that as well. Was it yours? Um, we want the streets to be predictable. Um, it should be, the road should be what it looks like, it should be what you expect. Um, you shouldn't have surprises while you're driving down the road or cycling or walking. And it should forgive users. We all make mistakes. Uh, we all uh, don't pay attention to the road sometimes or uh, miss something on the road, miss someone else on the road. The road should be forgiving. Um, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't lead to crashes or accidents when you make a mistake. And uh, users should be aware of what the road uh, ahead is they should be aware of what the other users on the road are doing. And this can be done by education for many people, but you also have children and the elderly on the road and you cannot educate them in the same way. So uh, it has to also convey the state. The state of the road should be easily understandable uh, by everyone. So from these principles, we took um, the principles are universal, we think they are, uh, can be applied anywhere, and the values as well. But we took um, three spots in the city of Luxembourg, they're, they're black spots, the two of them, they're very black spots, you'll complain about them at least once in your life, I'm sure. These spots are going to be redeveloped in the tram project anyway. Uh, there are for some of the plans out there which we have uh, adapted with our proposals. And um, the examples, especially um, the, the Rue Origé by the train station, they show what we see as an over-allocation of space to the car. Um, we think that um, the, the um, space on the road could be better allocated to um, encourage other means of transportation. So, I'll let you continue. Um, so the first, Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the first uh, location that um, we took is uh, Avenue de la Liberté, and uh, so as you can see, there is two lines for uh, cars in the same direction. Uh, then 
uh, you see the line, um, bicycle line, and uh, the, <laughs> the parking. Um, and so, uh, there's, uh, the, the, the cars need to cross, to park, to cross the, the bicycle line, so this is not really safe. And uh, because there's two lines um, of, for cars in one direction, the, they, they go faster, and so it's another uh, danger for bicycle. So the idea is that, uh, um, that what we thought is to, uh, so to, to keep out uh, one line. Oh, can we please continue? <laughs> oh, maybe um, you can go faster than can me. I, yeah. Just a second. Um, can we, from everyone, get an applause if you want to continue for a minute? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay, so as you can see, there's okay. Good. Here is the parking, so uh, the bicycle is uh, safe, um, and so this is uh, the, the, the tram is the, the, the project, and we took out um, one uh, car lane. Uh, you got bicycles in the other direction as well. Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, another option was. Um, so it uh, took out parkings and put um, uh, between the drive lane and the bike lane uh, a bollard to protect the cycle, the bike and the bicycles. Uh, so why the sidewalks? That's it. Okay. okay. No parking. Uh, and this one is with no car at all, uh, which is of course safer. <laughs> Uh, this is another location, so Rue Origier. Uh, so as you can see, there is also two lines in the same direction for cars, and the bicycle share the, the line with bus, with, so it um, makes a lot of conflicts between both. So um, our proposition is um, uh, that there is a specific line for bus and a specific line for uh, cycles and um, you have two uh, lanes um, for, for cycles and uh, yeah and the last example oh, very sorry on time uh, uh, I ramble <laughs> so uh, you all know Rond Point Schumann you know how dreadfully long it takes to cross it by bike you all know the traffic jams when you go by car. Uh, what we are proposing is a soft version of the turbo roundabout. Um, you get rid of the traffic lights. You have a lane which you go into before to get at your destination. And uh, when, you are, when you come here by bike, uh, you can drive through all the time because the cars have to give way to you. Uh, the, sh the shark teeth there means the car has to stop and give way to all traffic, whether tram, cars. Last point. Uh, Make a point. This is, this is what our uh, examples are of these values, and um, they're just examples. We think that the values can be, um, even if the examples are uh, not perfect, they're just drawn on a piece of paper, we like to think that the values can be used in general planning. Quick question, a really small proposal. Uh, who or what will be your enablers to make that a reality? Who do you need to convince? Who do we need to convince? It's, uh, it's never clear uh, where the blockages are. This is a barrier that's very... Not fuzzy. even blockages, or yeah. even the street uh, <laughs> who, who takes the decisions? Uh, is it politicians? Is it traffic planners? Is it all of the above? It, it's, uh, it's, I think, a bit of everyone, yes. Uh, the, the people of the city as well, convinced that these are the values we, need, we want to strive Are you planning any campaign to, to have uh, people's um, signatures or how, how are you going to be the, the momentum around The plan is to, is to turn this into a series of articles and uh, take it from there. Okay, cool. Thank you.
I could be mistaken, but I thought with all the plans for the tram, um, for, for example, for the Avenue de Liberté, uh, there would be uh, plans at um, the, 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 the lane for the bikes. Is are planned on both sides, or is not the case? Um, the, the plans are not online. Um, that's what the minister has claimed. Um, there's no detail. Um, we, we took these as examples because these places are on everyone's mind. Uh, maybe they have the same plans, maybe they have different plans. We just wanted to show these as examples of the, the principles. Uh, the, the roundabout there is overlaid on top of the tram map. Uh, we've changed the roundabout so that we can get rid of the traffic lights and improve traffic for everyone, car users, bike users, pedestrians.